This is a short introduction to the Level 2 learning programmes in the mainstream classroom. The framework for Junior Cycle gives schools greater flexibility to design programmes that are suited to the needs of their Junior Cycle students and to the particular context of their school. So who are the Level 2 learning programmes designed for? Students undertaking an L2LP are those with disabilities categorised as being in the lower mild to higher moderate range of general learning disabilities. The special needs of these students is such as to prevent them from accessing some or all of the subjects and short courses on offer at Junior Cycle that are broadly aligned with Level 3 National Framework of Qualifications. So to give you an idea of the different levels, the subject specifications such as Visual Art, Science or English are broadly aligned to Level 3. L2LP are broadly aligned to Level 2 and L1LP are broadly aligned to Level 1. So Level 1, 2 or Level 3, who decides? And how do we know if the Level 2 learning programme is the right choice for the student? And who makes the final decision? The Special Educational Need or SEN Department, along with parents and guardians and the management of the school, will work together to identify the students with special educational needs, as well as those who may be eligible for following a Level 2 learning programme. The following are key documents that you may find helpful. The guidelines for post-primary schools supporting students with special educational needs in mainstream schools, and the Level 2 learning programmes, guidelines for teachers. Both key documents recognises and acknowledges the central role of the class teacher in identifying and planning for the needs of all students. This is essential to the effective inclusion of students with special educational needs. A student following a Level 2 learning programme can have their educational experience built around them. They should be placed at the centre of the experience. Considering their prior learning and interests, a curriculum can be built up around them that best suits their needs, interests and abilities. This will be based on developing knowledge, understanding and skills through the PLUs of Level 2, all of which can be experienced through the full or relevant post-primary subject range. So what makes up a Level 2 learning programme? It comprises of five priority learning units, two short courses, other areas of learning and the area of well-being. So how does it all work? This is a flexible curriculum that can be built up around each student and be experienced over the three years of junior cycle. So what are the PLUs? They stand for Priority Learning Units and there are five in total. They are Communication and Literacy. Numeracy, personal care, living in the community and preparing for work. They outline broad learning experiences that are practical in nature, based on everyday life skills and experiences. Each of the five priority learning units has a number of elements and each element has a number of learning outcomes. The PLUs are outlined in the Level 2 Learning Programme Guidelines for Teachers. In each of the guidelines, each of the PLUs are presented in a box like this. Let's take a look at Communication and Literacy PLU and focus on the element speaking appropriately for a variety of purposes and demonstrating attentiveness as a listener. Take a moment to read these learning outcomes as identified in this series of bullets and consider ways that your students might experience this learning in your subject area. Over the course of the three years of junior cycle, students should experience all of the learning outcomes. For the purpose of awarding a student on the Junior Cycle Profile of Achievement, or JCPA, the majority of the learning outcomes must be experienced. 
So in this case, a minimum of four of these six learning outcomes would need to be evidenced in terms of the JCPA. All PLUs are outlined in the Level 2 Learning Programme Guidelines for Teachers. The guidelines for post-primary schools supporting students with special educational needs in mainstream schools states Every student should be taught a curriculum that is appropriate to his or her developmental level. So who will teach the Level 2 Learning Programmes? The subject teacher has primary responsibility for the progress and care of all students in the classroom, including students with special educational needs. This is a poster that you might find helpful. Its title is Working with L2LPs, A Collaborative Journey. And it outlines the various steps that a subject teacher might take in preparing and planning for working with Level 2 and Level 3 learning outcomes in their classroom. You'll find it in the planning section of the L2LP section of www.jct.ie. You can find further information in a range of areas. The post-primary guidelines for inclusion of students with special educational needs. The inclusive educational framework a guide for schools. And the inclusion of pupils with special educational needs a continuum of support. As well as the resource pack for teachers. There's also a huge amount of resources on L1LP and L2LP in the relevant sections of www.jct.ie. Following the tab along the top brings you to the home page of L2LP. From here you can be directed to the following areas and relevant resources. In key documents you'll find the framework for junior cycle, the L2LP guidelines, information leaflets, and information on Level 2 short courses. In news and events, you'll find news and information and on upcoming events. In CPD workshops, you'll find L2LP presentations and resource booklets, information on special school and mainstream school settings, elective workshops and webinars. In planning, you'll find introductory videos, information on special and mainstream school settings, planning next step, planning toolkit, as well as the subject link documents. In assessment, you'll find a checklist for the PLUs and sample portfolios. And in resources, L2LP introductory videos, sample worksheets, and information on L2LP and technology. We'd like you to thank you for listening. We hope you found this short screencast helpful.